Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to ITW Extra, powered by JSA TV, the official broadcast of ITW 2023. We are here live simulcasting on this incredible floor. So much energy, so many folks gathering, networking, doing deals. It's exciting. We're coming to you live. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya, CEO of JSA. And joining me on the expo floor, we have Jenny Gao, the Vice President of Sales for Zenlayer, and Ricky Chow. He is, of course, the Chief Strategy and Customer Officer of CBC Tech. Welcome both of you guys to JSA TV. My pleasure. Thank you for having us. All right, so let's start with Zenlayer. Can you tell us, Jenny, a little bit about yourself and Zenlayer? Yeah, sure. Um, so my name is Jenny Gao, and um, VP of Sales at Zenlayer. I've been with the company for over seven to eight years now, and um, based in LA. So what Zenlayer does is uh, that we are a edge cloud service provider, and we offer on-demand connectivity throughout uh, globally, and with expertise in in major markets like Southeast Asia, you know, Asia, India, China, South America places like that. So we help business to reduce their um, latencies to their eyeball and, um, you know, improve their digital uh, digital user experience. And we should say you're killing it. So we are excited to have you, Jenny, and also your client, uh, CBC Tech. Tell us, Ricky, a little bit about yourself and what you guys are doing there. Absolutely. So I'm Ricky Chow. I'm actually based out of Hong Kong. Uh, I've been with the company for a little over one year. So I have two roles. I have the strategic role that uh, responsible for the corporate developments and transformation. I also have the execution role that I run end of my business, service delivery, uh, customer experience for the company. Now, uh, CBC Tech, uh, we are a network as a service provider. Uh, we enable cloud native network and security services for enterprise to deliver their application performance with the excellent uh, customer experience. And you guys together here at ITW, big news dropping. So, Jenny, can you tell us a little bit about this uh, breaking news? Yeah, sure. So, uh, Zenlayer has the honor to partner with CPC Tech uh, on this global uh, scale, um, you know, product launch, right? So, we offer a customer a secure, high-speed, global connectivity a solution. So, it's a one-stop solution to all of our customers. Uh, security, one stop. You're saying all the right things. Tell us how your how your customers are going to benefit. Yeah. So, uh, well, basically, for the partnership, uh, we expand our uh, SASE uh, Connect platform uh, to 50 market around the world, especially uh, in the emerging market in Asia Pacific, uh, the Middle East, and South America. And and that gives us the opportunity to enable. Um, global SaaS services for enterprise customer, uh, especially customer they operate in multi regions. Oh, amazing, amazing, and absolutely security being a forefront topic today. What makes Zenlayer, Jenny, an ideal partner for these types of companies interested in expanding their edge infrastructure and SD WAN providers? Yeah, so I think there's always a lot of a synergy between Edge Cloud Service Provider and SD WAN Provider. And this partnership actually we complement each other very well on, you know, like the global scale. And then also we help uh, SD WAN companies to reduce their costs when they're penetrating a new market, uh, such as what uh, Ricky was mentioned about all the Southeast Asia markets. And then um, instead of going through multiple providers, right, they can just leverage uh, reach Zenlayer as a uh, one-stop one shop, you know, on a global scale. Um, yeah, I think this is uh, something that a lot of SD-WAN companies are looking for to extend. And now this question is really for both of you. I'm going to start with ladies first, Miss Jenny. Uh, can you share more about uh, the growth trends that Zenlayer is seeing and that you're currently responding to? Uh, yeah, so we see a lot of uh, enterprises, they're doing multi-cloud and hybrid cloud solutions. Um, and Zellier, we are a neutral provider. So we have private backbones uh, directly connected to uh, those hyperscalers like AWS, Google Cloud. And then, you know, in China, we have uh, Ali and Tencent uh, Cloud. So, um, so as a, a neutral provider, we are able to help, um, you know, like, 
enterprises to um, has a redundant on their um, back end. And then uh, with um, CBC tag that deploy their security services on our uh, VMs, um, it helps those enterprises to have a more secure and high speed um, uh, connectivities throughout uh, the world. Ricky, uh, question is also for you. Are you seeing similar uh, trends that you're responding to? Uh, similar. We, uh, we see a few things. Uh, we see enterprises are transforming their legacy uh, networks and security infrastructure uh, to the SaaS architecture uh, as part of their digital transformation journey. Uh, the other piece is we are seeing enterprise brands are moving into software defined uh, with the internet first underlay. Uh, because when you look at uh, application and workload for effort enterprise, it's largely you know, in the cloud. Now, the last thing we see here is high big workforce, right? So, um, employer longest is working in the office. So, and, and that trend really accelerates uh, enterprise to uh, adopt SASE you know, architecture to ensure that both application performance and security, they are, you know, they are in tandem. Now, I, I noticed you mentioned SASE several times, of course, Security Access Service Edge. Can you share a little bit more on your views on SASE and also particularly the market in China as well as globally? Yeah, I think it's certainly um, a, a, a golf business. When you look at SASE in general, I think um, that the, market, the SASE revenue is estimated to around 11 billion. Uh, in 2024. 20, if you look at China specifically, uh, it's about 769 million. Uh, so 7% of the, uh, you know, the revenue actually coming from China. But um, when we talk to a customer, when we look at you know, the market goal, it's actually going really far. So there's huge opportunity for SASE provider in, in this arena. And so where can our viewers go to learn more about CBC Tech? So if you want to learn more about CBC Tech, uh, feel free to go to our website. It's www.cbctech.com or connect us through our LinkedIn. Um, so, and, and do come to me if you have any question. And of course, for ZenLayer? Yeah, for ZenLayer, please visit us at uh, www.zenlayer.com. And uh, you can also visit us on LinkedIn. So cbctech.com, zenlayer.com, LinkedIn always. And guys, thank you so much for your time, your insight. You've been wonderful on JSA TV. We so appreciate you guys. And thank you viewers for tuning in to ITW Extra powered by JSA TV. Happy networking.